Car stunts are common around the world and they always attract many viewers. There is something about the danger, the skills required and about defying gravity. In this video, we present an original stunt in which a stunt car can remain upside down in a circular track indefinitely. Consider one of those walls of death where the cars circulate vertically held by the friction between the tires and the wall. Now we will show a physical system similar to a wall of death but for inclinations well over 90 degrees, which we will call an inverted track. The solution for the minimum velocity necessary to stay in an inverted track is a function of the friction coefficient between the tires and the wall and the angle of inclination. We built a toy model to validate this solution. Our circular track was made from a bicycle wheel 60 cm in diameter with a track segment banked 125 degrees. The force between the tires and the track has the following property. The car rotating in a stationary track is equivalent to the track rotating with the car stationary on it. So we did the latter which is much easier experimentally. The toy is initially held with a magnet behind the track. The magnet is centrifuged away in the first cycle of the spinning wheel. Then the toy is held partially upside down only by friction. Eventually the velocity decays below the minimum and the car falls off exactly as equations predict. For more details, search for the article in the internet entitled Driving Upside Down in a Circular Track. If this system were to be scaled up to 200 meters in diameter, the minimum velocity necessary to hold an F1 car under an inclination of 135 degrees should be approximately 120 km per hour, which is all very feasible. There are motorsports related companies and stunt enthusiasts that could make this for real. We recommend the video from Scott Mansell listed in this video's description. The circular inverted track has advantages compared to a linear inverted track. For one, the pilot can take his time to transition between the upside right to upside down positions. Furthermore, as the car is being permanently centrifuged, if the velocity ever drops below the minimum, the car shall just skid toward lower inclinations until it recovers the grip to the track. If you want to see this stunt for real one day, share this video, maybe someone will embrace this idea. Cheers!